lesson today, that is subtraction is a strand and substrand subtraction involving missing numbers. Now, subtraction involving missing numbers, let's take a case of 54 is example one. We have 54, take away dash or box equals to 52. 54, take away box equals to 52. Our box here is a missing figure. That is what we want to find out. So to find out this, this 54 can as well be written as 54 take away 52 equals to box. Why do I do this? Take away will always remain. So this number is to be carried to this side. This number is to be carried to this side. You can either use an arrow, carry to this side, but the sign here remains the same. It remains set take away. So 52 is to be written in 54 take away 52 equals to box. As for this case, you can write it using the place value teens. So let's take 54, take away 52. Here is the tens column, here is the ones column. So let's try and work it out. 4, take away 2. Let's start with the ones column. 4, take away 2. We say, when we're taking away, we use our figures. So 2, take away 2, 3, 4. At the mention of 4, we stop, and our answer is right on our fingers. So the answer is 2. I come and write 2 here. I can go to the tenth column. 5, take away 5. Remember, it's take away 5, and that is all. There's nothing to be taken away. So 5, take away 5, gives us 0. So in our answer here, we have 2. 0 is not necessary to be written, but here in our box, we write 2 here. And the same 2 we write here, we reflect here as our missing number. So this means that 54 take away our missing number 2 gives us 52. And that is how we work this kind of question. Example 2. Let's take a case of 83 take away box to give us 71. Here we have a, big, a, bit of, uh, a bigger number compared to what we had initially. 83 take away box 71. This can as well be written as 83, because here we have this number on this side, we carry it using an arrow and put it here, 71. So we can have 783, take away 71, then this box goes this side, it becomes here, box. So here it requires us to take away, uh, to get 783, take away 71, which we can use our place value right? 83, 71. We have the minus sign, so let's work it out. This is the tenth scholar, the one scholar. We usually start with the one scholar. So take away one, two, three. At the mention of three, you stop and count your fingers. The answer is right here. So we have one, two. We write two just below the one scholar. Then on this other side, we have eight and we have seven. So we say take away seven. 8. At the mention of 8, we stop and the answer is right on our fingers. So we have 1. So our answer here is 12. The 12 here, we write it in the uh, missing box as the missing number. So finally, in our first answer, our first question, we have 12 as the answer. So this is how we work out um, missing numbers involving subtraction, that is, in case the box is appearing in the middle. Now let's take a case whereby the box starts. When the box starts, how do we work, up, work it out? Example three. When our box, when the box starts, take away three equals to fifteen. Initially, we had the box appearing in the middle, but for this case. When the box starts, or when the box appearing at the front, 
then it requires us another different approach. What is the approach are we going to follow here? I want you to be very keen and listen to me so that you can get the concept clearly. Now, remember here we have a takeaway sign. So what we do, we'll circle the whole of this takeaway sign together with together with the figure three or the digit three. Then we'll carry it to the next that is across the equal sign. And any time a sign crosses the equal sign, it changes. Meaning, if this one was a takeaway, if cross this side, it becomes plus. So we'll take this using an arrow, put it here, put a plus three. Now, most cases, our students or pupils confuse this when they cross this, but they fail to change the sign. Any time a sign or a bit negative uh, to take away or plus crosses the equal sign, it changes. If it was a plus here, if it crosses here, it becomes a minus. If it is a minus, if it crosses equal sign, it becomes a plus. So we'll carry this with a, an arrow to this side, meaning when we remove it from here, we'll not have anything. Meaning we'll have box equals to 15 plus 3. I hope you understand up to there. Now, if it is translated in this manner, then it will be very easy to work it out. So let's work it out. We can either choose to use counting on, or we can draw or maybe use the place value teams. So let's use the place value teams. We have plus 3. So let's work it out. Let's start with the ones column. 5 plus 3. So let's count using the addition concept, that is 5, 6, 7, 8. So we write 8 on the 1's column, on the answer column. Then, on this side, you only have 1, digit 1. So there's nothing to add, so you drop it using an arrow. It becomes what? 1. So our answer here is 18. Our 18 here, we write it on this missing box. Whatever I write it here is what is reflected here. So that our question at the end of the day becomes 18 take away 3 gives us 15. So our missing figure is 18. Come to another example. We have box take away 2 equals to 14. Our first figure is missing. We have take away two. We have 14 as the answer. So we want to find out what is missing here. The same same procedure we had done earlier on. We will circle this take away two, the way it is, carry it using an arrow to the other side. And we say that once it crosses the arrow, the equal sign, it changes the sign. Meaning if it was take away, it becomes a plus. So we have plus two. Now, this one can as well be written as box equals to, once this is removed, it is going to the other side, there's nothing here. So we write equals to 14 plus 2. Now, we can get the answer by adding vertically or using place value team. So we have 14 plus 2. Let's work it out that way. 14 plus 2, let's first add the the ones column using the concept of addition. So we add for four, five, six. So our answer here is six, we need add two on our fingers. Then on this side, we only have, we have one, there's nothing here. So we use an arrow to drop one. Therefore we have 16. Our 16 is the answer, so you come and write 16 here. And the same, same 16 reflects on the missing number. So when you have 16, take away 2, the result or the answer is 14. And that is how we work box, box, or more subtraction involving missing numbers. And in that way, if you do it in this manner, it will be very, very easy and convenient for you. Well, Anand, there's another example whereby you can be given a question that is arranged vertically. For example, we have 20, this that is our fifth example. We have 25 take away 
missing number equals to 13. Now, this one is a different form, but it's the same, same idea that you're going to apply. So here we can as well write it as, as uh, 25, take away this 13, because it is the answer, it skips to the missing numbers. So we can write it as, that, as 13, take away 13, equals to the two missing numbers. Now, this one will just be working out as normal take away or two digit number. So we start with the ones column, five take away three. So we say take away three, four, five. The answer is on your fingers, so the answer is two. We write two under ones column. Then here on the tenth column we have two and one. So take away one, two. One, two. So our answer here is on our finger, which is one. So here, uh, you can also well be given in form of this. When you're given this, don't get a shock or don't start asking yourself, we are never taught this. It's the same, same idea that applies, or which the difference is, it is written vertically. Well, learners, we have concluded our lesson for today. And thank you for watching. Have a